Hey, what's happening guys? LeBron Games here. Welcome back to Skyrim. In the last video, we did the Legend of Red Eagle. Well, it's just a miscellaneous objective, but from it, yeah, we got Red Eagle's Bane. It's just an ancient Nord sword. Nothing too special about it. Uh, undead up to level 13 are set on fire and flee for 30 seconds. So, you know, neat little enchantment. Uh, in this video, we're going to do this side quest, the Unquiet Dead, back here at the, where was it? Here, at the Golden Hills Plantation. So, we're going to head back there. Alrighty, and it says we gotta search the plantation for clues, so let's channel our inner Sherlock Holmes and see if we can figure out what's going on over here. I feel strange, hot and cold all at once. My hands shake, hard to write, so dizzy, I think I've been poisoned. Seems she's got the better of me after all. Okay. And he doesn't have anything actually useful. Uh, let's go check out this little tower here first. Not even a windmill, it's just a tower. Pitchfork. Nah, I don't see anything special in here. Well, it looks like those are the only two buildings, so... Let's go in there. Actually, let me check out this little cart real quick. Anything interesting? Nah. Okay. Let's go ahead and go on inside. Actually, just so we have some lighting. Got a bunch of food. Some training dummies. A blue dart wing and some hawk feathers. Alright. I could have swore this one was a skill book, but I guess it's not. Boiled cream treat. Boys, green tunic, a doll. Excuse me there, Lydia. You're in the way. Thank you. Well, that leads into the basement, so let's stay up here first. And we'll go check out upstairs. Oh, we can actually use that one to cook some food. Great. Alright, looks like we found some clues. Now we gotta find the hidden laboratory. Laboratory, whatever. Empty chest. Broken iron war axe head, huh? Well, we'll take the leather strips, and there's the handle. Interesting. I've never seen that before. Mage backpack, eh. I doubt there's anything out here on the balcony, but we'll go check. Never hurts. It's always good to be thorough. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh well, back inside. And I'm assuming that this laboratory is downstairs. Hidden lever somewhere or something? Oh, here we go. Button. 
of these have salt. There we go. There's some salt. Flour. Cabbage. Potatoes. Cabbage. Apples. Oh, wow. Oh. It's a ghost. Well, good job, Lydia. Thanks. Alright. Got some glowing mushrooms. Some death bells. Hanging moss. Canis root. Nightshade. Alchemy. I'm not going to sit here and read through all the books. We'll take all these potions and poisons and stuff. There's a blue dart wing, orange dart wing. Oh, damn it. I didn't want the bowl. Take the nightshade, death bell. Take this girl's journal. And then we gotta find out what happened to Rin. Okay. Well, maybe we should read her journal real quick. Orval wanted so badly to make a go at being farmers, so here we are now with our own rocky plot of land and a ruined old farmhouse with a leaky roof. It's not what I dreamed of, but we'll make the best of it. At least the soil's good, even if it's full of boulders. I'll be able to get a nice garden going with all the ingredients I need for my potions. The income from that should get us through the first winter, if nothing else. I found a secret room walled off in the basement. It will do nicely for my alchemy lab. I love my husband dearly, but he can be a pig-headed dolt when it comes to the gentle magics of the earth. If it weren't for my potions, little Rin would have perished last winter from a fever. Our plantation is doing well enough, but Erval's eyes are getting bigger than his purse. He was talking of purchasing a wagon recently, like we don't sometimes struggle to put food on the table. A wagon, honestly. I've seen the ugly looks he gives my potions and herbs, but where else are we going to get the money for all the things he buys? Next thing you know, he'll be trying to buy another farm. Rin's gone missing. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find him. His little wooden sword is missing, too. Gods preserve me. I hope he hasn't run off. He doesn't realize how dangerous it is out there on the tundra. Oh, man, there's a bunch more. It's been three days now. My little boy is still gone. I don't like how Erval is looking at me. His eyes are too dark, too still, like a frozen lake. I think I even heard him mutter something about getting what I deserve. Could he have... No, I dare not even put the thought to paper. He did it. He must have. That monster killed my son, and now he looks at me with those hate-filled eyes and a mocking smirk. He despises my alchemical arts so much that he took my son from me to punish me. I've never brewed poison before, but I know how it's done. I know how to bottle death. A few drops in his mead, and my child will be avenged. It is done. The gods will damn me, but they will damn him more for the murder of a child. Rin, I'm so sorry. I wish I could have. Wait, I hear something. And that's it. Okay. Uh, maybe we have to read that guy's journal too? Oh, man. whole bunch to read okay today's the first day of our new lives I bought a sizable piece of land with a rundown farmhouse for dirt cheap just outside of Rorikstead no one else wanted it on account of how rocky it is too many boulders the other men said but John kill and I have strong backs and willing hearts we'll get those boulders out and turn this fertile land into a plantation that could only they could only dream of this will be the perfect place to raise our little Rin Long day. Hand hurts almost too much to write. Farmhouse is repaired and the first plants are in the ground. Feels good. We did it. Jean Kill kissed me tonight like she did when we were first married. 
Her eyes are calling me. We harvested our first crops today. It wasn't much, but it's a start. When I watched the sun's rays first break over the horizon on our fields today, I knew what to name this place. Golden Hills Plantation. After Akatosh's glorious light. Soon, it'll be an inheritance worthy of our sun. Just a bit longer. I know it. My heart is troubled. Rin is fast growing into a strapping young boy. Though he spends too much time playing with that wooden sword of his and dreaming of running off to join the Legion. But my dear wife, Jean Kill, her strangeness worries me. Sometimes she'll disappear for hours at a time and then turn up in the house as though she'd been there all along. I often see her carrying a basket full of strange dark flowers and she won't tell me what they are or where she got them. And last winter, when Rin fell ill with fever, Jean Kill produced a small black bottle from who knows where and poured who knows what down his throat. Only a few minutes later, the fever was gone. Jean Kill refused to tell me what was in the bottle or where she got it. I was so happy that she saved our little boy, of course, but Mara preserved me, but I'm afraid that my wife is a Deja worshiper or a witch. Rin has been missing for three days, my little boy. I've searched everywhere, but there's no trace of him. Even his favorite toy sword is missing. What if wolves got him, or brigands snatched him away? Jean Kill has been watching me. I don't like the look in her eyes, and she hasn't cried at all. What kind of mother doesn't cry when her child is missing? What if... I dare not even put the thought to paper. It's unthinkable. I found it. I found Jean Kill's secret. This is the place she's been disappearing to. The potions, the plants, the books. Such evil and unnatural things I've found down there. Divines help me. My wife is a witch. I didn't want to open her foul books, but I had to. I had to. Deadly Nightshade. That's what the plant is called. The one I saw her sneaking around with. She grows it everywhere in this hidden place. She must have poisoned my son. I've seen the sneer on her face, the laughter in her eyes as she watched me tearing apart the farm looking for him. She was mocking me. I've never felt rage like this. I'm shaking with it, sweating with it. I know exactly what I've got to do. My son's spirit whispers to me, demanding vengeance. I keep an axe by the door for dealing with wild animals. It will do for dealing with a witch as well. Okay, so it seems like the kid, like, legitimately went missing, and this husband and wife blame the other. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, no. I want my candlelight. And we already checked up here. Yeah, there's nothing else up here. Alright, let's go back outside. Maybe we'll see another ghost. There's got to be something in here. Here, let me get some higher ground. I don't see anything. After his son disappeared, Erval and Jean Kill kill each other. Jean Kill extract. Erval and Axe. You think the other had murdered their son Rin? Hmm. Okay. See if there's anything up here on this ridge. No, nah, not really. Here's
here's the actual road. There's a goat. Oh, that's not a goat. Maybe if we go back inside and search the kid's room, maybe there'll be a clue in there. Here we go. Ma and Pa are fighting again. There's always fighting these days. Ma hates how obsessed Pa is with cows and the price of wheat and all that boring stuff. Pa doesn't like Ma's flowers or her bottles of goopy stuff. I don't like the goopy stuff either, but it doesn't make it does make me feel better when I'm sick, so I guess it's okay. I can't wait till I'm old enough to join the Legion and get away from the farm. I've been practicing every day with my sword. I think I'm good enough to be a captain or even a general. But Pa doesn't want me to join the Legion because he says I have to take over the farm when I'm old enough. Ma doesn't want me to go because it's dangerous. That's about the only thing they agree on. I bet if I defeated a bandit or killed a wolf or something, that would show them. Then they would have to let me join up with the Legion. Pa always tells me to stay away from the old well. The one toward the tall monument out by the tree sitting on a rock. Wolves like to hunt down there, he says, so that's where I'll go. I'll kill a wolf and bring home its head, and that'll prove I'm a man and not a baby. I'm tired of listening to Ma and Pa yell at each other anyway. Well. Oh. Said out by the monument. Well, the old well out by the monument. Uh-oh, I see a dragon way off in the distance. Okay, so we're looking for an old well. There's the monument. Hmm. Maybe back up here. Dun, 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 dun. The one toward the tall monument out by the tree sitting on a rock. I'm thinking that might be it. See, this looks like a well. Uh-oh. Kid didn't make it. And looks like we gotta return the sword.
Need something? Your family can rest in peace now. Thanks a lot. Here, take this for all your hard work. Huh? Well, all right. And I'm guessing now this is like another one of our houses. I mean, it would make sense. There's, you know, a master bedroom. There's kid's bedroom. There's even an alchemy lab. I mean, it's not the nicest house, but, you know, it'll work. Take Alembic? Huh. Interesting. Excuse me. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Oh, gosh. What's this? Oh, now it wants us to play Farmer. Okay. Yeah, we'll, um... We'll probably do that in the next one. Just get it out of the way. Anyways, if you liked the video, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, feel free to leave any comments. Once again, I'm LeBron Games, and I'll see you guys next time.